hello guys welcome okay hello family and friends thank you for joining me today but if you are new to the channel you're highly welcome my name is Lily and I have a beautiful guest in the building you guys a little background to this interview I came all the way from Accra because I want to know why Sicily choose this part of Ghana instead of just living in Accra where almost all the diasporas are living, including me that is African here, from a neighboring country, I choose to live in Accra. Why did you choose to live in this part of the country? So welcome to my channel, Cicely. Thank you, Lily. Nice to be here. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? I'm doing great. <laughs> okay, so can you tell us more about you? Okay, so um, my name is Cicely. And I was born in the UK, lived in the United States for many years, so born and raised in the UK, lived in the States for many years. And um, now I'm going to remember to say, and I was a TV host in the United States. Really? Yes, I was for five years, I had my own channel. And TV, it was actual TV and also on YouTube. And because um, I didn't understand the whole YouTube thing then. So anyway, um, so basically it all got shut down when everything got shut down in 2020. So I do life coaching. I um, uh, do life coaching workshops, retreats, seminars is what I do. And so I work with schools and nonprofit agencies. And so that's a little bit about me. A lot, a little pinch of a little bit about me. Obviously. <laughs> so, um, when did you come to Ghana and why the choice of Ghana? Why not other African countries? Mm, good, good question. So, that was the, in 2020, the thought came in my mind, as some people I've heard them say, spirit guided. So, spirit guided me, I got that call. So, you know, people talk about getting the call. So, I got the call of Ghana. And I didn't understand why, because I've never wanted to come to Africa, period. But for some reason, Ghana was calling me, and I just heard the call. It went away. The call came back, and I decided I'm going to come. So despite everything that was happening at that time, I said, you know what, I'm going to have firm faith. I'm going to trust the process, and I'm going to go. And I am here now with wonderful Lily and the people of Ghana. Thanks. When did you come to it Ghana? It was September 2020. September 2020. This Wait, is... are we 22 now? Yeah, 22. All right, so it was 21. September oh, 20... 2021, yes. Oh, really? Because I would make it the year now, right? Okay. Yes. So you heard so much about Africa and the negative stories of Africa and you did not want to come. What were the stories that were told of so... Africa to you? <laughs> <laughs> what were... What so are those typical stories, stories are like, uh, you'll get malaria, you'll die, you'll get a disease, you'll die, you'll, um, you will, none of those things have happened as you can see. Um, the health care, you, you have to be concerned about that, you'd have to run back to America to get the health care. Um, also, there people live in huts and villages and there's no water and there's, <laughs> there's no electricity, there's lions and tigers running all over the place, that's the narrative. And so that has put many of us off, many of us off of coming to the African continent. Okay, thank you for being brave and then coming anyways, despite all the stories that were told to you. So on getting to Ghana, I wouldn't say on getting to Africa, because you are in Africa now, you know that we have more than 50 countries yeah. in Africa. Yes. But some people do not know that, right? Many of us don't know that. Uh, now that you are in Ghana, what do you have to say about the stories that were told to you? back there in the States about Africa? Only one word, a lie. <laughs> right now, Lily and I are in this amazing, beautiful place called the Sumanya Royal Hotel. And Lily said, this is a five-star hotel. So yes, you have five-star hotels and beyond that in Africa, amazing, beautiful places in Africa that is not, there's, there's a mix of everything. And this is what I like about Africa is that it is what it is. It's a beautiful place, full of resources, full of richness. And that's the other thing. It's like Africa's not poor. They have riches of resources, minerals and, and iron and ore, whatever, gold. They have all of that. The most curious thing about you, and I would like to know why you got to Ghana, 
okay, when you decided to come mm. to Africa, you got to Ghana, mm. and then you saw Accra, Ghana, because that's yes. where the plane alighted, you right? <laughs> okay, and then, you, have you been to Kumasi? No, not yet. Okay, not yet? Okay. No. So, why the choice of, um, what is this place called? Somania? Somania, you So, said why did you choose the countryside of Ghana instead of the busy city of Accra where mm. all the diasporas and everybody, do, mm. why did you choose the countryside? So, I chose Somania and that too, Somania chose me. Okay. <laughs> this has to be that. So, anyway, I chose that because before I left the United States. My thing was that I want to live in the community with the people. I didn't want to live, like you said, in the diaspora with the diasporas in Accra. If I wanted to do that, I would stay in America. I think if you're going to come to Africa, Ghana, wherever, mm. to get the real experience, you have to come and live with the people and show them that you're going to live with them and deal with whatever they're dealing with as well. So not like, you know, there's certain things that I can mitigate, but some things I can't. And so if I need to get a bucket of water, I get the bucket of water. If I need to boil hot water to get a shower, I do that. If I need to wash my hands by clothes, by wash my clothes by hand, I do that. So I want to be a part of the, what's this, what's the word? I want to be a part of the community, the infrastructure, everything I want to be a part of. So I thought by having that, coming here to Sumanya, I would experience that and I have experienced all of what I said. Incredible. So um, another thing I want to know is, how has it been for you? This is your second time in Ghana, right? The first was in 2021 and you went back yes. and then you came back again. Yes. Why did you come back to Ghana and how do you feel about Ghana mm -hmm. before and now? So I had to leave for different reasons and uh, I also traveled to another country, Egypt, in, in, in the continent of uh, Africa. So that was another different experience. Um, so basically I had to come back because I laid a foundation here. And I had met someone that I've been speaking to for some time, for about four years now. Um, on Facebook and um, he was the one that helped me integrate initially into Ghana and so basically I come back to now create something uh, 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 NGO to do service for the community so we've started doing things already we're working with the prison in Akusi I hope I'm saying that right we're working with the male and female prisons to give them skills for when they come out of prison and to also um, uh, just go there and, and give and, and, and see the work that they're doing. The women are making these amazing fans, which I gave to Lily, uh, amazing fans with their hands and stuff like that. And so basically, um, I came back to 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 and to work with Asari to create that NGO. So we're working with that. We're doing many things with that. And also, um, my experience then. And my experience now is completely different to when I first came because I didn't understand the culture. How was it for you at the beginning when you came? Don't, don't be afraid. Uh, Speak your mind, okay? Right, right, How right, was it so. for you when you first came right, to Ghana? Right, uh, what was that turn off for you? Right. And now you have been saying you love Ghana a lot. Yes. So, so the experience. The experience was that I didn't understand the culture. So each country has its own characteristics, let me say that. So the characteristics I didn't understand. So I was like, well, what is this? I don't understand. I thought it was going to be a different kind of a thing. And so once you, even like when I left the UK and went to USA, I had to deal with different characteristics and I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like it one bit. So eventually, of course, once I got into everything, I was all right. And so the same thing with Ghana. I had to learn Ghana. And uh, so going away and then coming back, now I understand the characteristics. I can have a better relationship. I'm having a much better time. We're having fun with each other. And Lily knows I get on and off the trotros and I, I, I speak to the drivers and the mates and the people. And we have so much fun on there. And so now I understand the characteristics. I have a better relationship with those characteristics. Talked about mm. your 
NGO in Ghana, which yes. I have personally seen some right. of the craft uh -huh. that you patronize the mm -hmm. prisoners. Yes, yes. You yes. want to support them. Mm -hmm. I see you bought a lot of those things. It's going to be my um, one of my vlogs. I wouldn't know which one will come first, if it is this video right now or the one where he, I got to see the, the craft that the prisoners are made really beautiful fans that they made that's just a few of what they do they right mm -hmm. so you choose to get some of the products from them yes you want to take it back to your country yes i'm going to do that i'm going to take it and share and what we want to do with the ngo is that we want to um say like if somebody wants to donate which is something that usually doesn't happen okay. like we'll say okay if you want to donate something you'll get this in return like a fan and we also have someone that we work with in Takradi he has his own soaps soap business okay. and he um, bought his soaps to the prison so that they have the natural soaps for their skin and to use that and he's also going to teach them how to make soap so to give them a skill when they come out of prison, they'll have something to do. So it's many facets, and that too, if someone donates, we will send them the soaps and different things that they will get okay. that. So they have something tangible. Because wow. it's one thing you donate, you know, there's all these NGOs you donate, but what, where does the money really go? What do they do with the money? Wow. So to have see that, well, because we've, you know, we've had, we've done videos, we've got pictures, so they can actually see what we're doing. Of Ghana as a country, how do you, what do you think uh, they need to do more, or what do you think they are doing too much that they need to turn down? If there's <laughs> anything like that, I don't that. think anyone's doing it in any country. I don't think any country is doing too much. Okay. But I appreciate that. Okay. What would what do I think? Um, what do I think? Uh, I think that there needs to be more attention to uh, local places, you know, okay. like uh, I think there needs to be care and attention of some of the, the guttering, stuff like that. I think that uh, b b the people and also the, the, the local government, whatever, mm. work together to try and mitigate a lot of that so that it can be a much um, healthier place for everyone to live. So it, it shouldn't be that I live in uh, this beautiful place here, for instance, I live in a mansion and somebody else is suffering somewhere. It needs to be more... It needs to be balanced, it needs right? To, there you go. It needs to be more of a balance. So that's what I'd like to see. So you think the government should also, you know, do more for the countryside? Like not that the government should do more. Okay. I think the government and the people. It's not should one without together. the other. Yes. It needs to be a relationship. Because it's no point in saying the government. No, it's not the government. It's also uh, the people. So it's a... It's a, it's a con What's the word I want to say? It's a relationship. It's a collaboration. The relationship collaboration, Lily, is what it needs to be. It's not the government saying it's the people, it's not the people saying it's the government. It needs to be one and all. So it needs to be a teamwork to get things done. Okay. Yeah. So are you all right, so are you in Ghana to stay here for good or you come and go and then maybe come back again or something? Like well, I was I speaking to you earlier, Lily, I said that I do things based on how spirit guides me. Hmm. So when it's time for me to go, whether it be in a relationship, whether it be in a country or job, my life has been like that always. I always know when it's time for me to go. So it's time for me to go. It's coming to that time, but I'm coming back. Okay, good. Because I've laid a foundation here. I have to nurture it right you don't just do something and then leave it and don't look back it's okay. that's not good so i will be coming back see lily just wants to know for herself really I guess what? no i believe if i make you here you're going to talk in front of the camera then i will hear yeah i will, I will hear because i've been asking that right like, when right, are you right. coming back why are you going like, right anyways? but i'm yes. glad you say you'll be coming back and I'm i believe back. you because yes, yes, you yes. have a lot of things i have already. a lot of things going on here yes i do yes but I need to go where, even, let me just tell you, on social media, Uganda has been calling me, mm -hmm. Nigeria has been calling me, South Africa, um, Kenya. So we actually, I actually went to Togo while I was here. Yeah, I went over yeah, to the yeah, right, yeah. so you I went, went to, to Togo. Togo. Yes. How was it? Oh, amazing. 
lovely. Again, the characteristics, different, a whole nother thing. And so you just blend in with those. Once you understand the characteristics, you work with that. It's lovely. Um, which other African country, mm -hmm. apart from Ghana and Egypt, mm -hmm. are you likely going to visit next? I'd like to visit um, Kenya and I'd like to visit because, and also I've been invited to Cong the Congo. So there's some countries where there's souls there that want me to come. I'd really like to be able to honor that. Okay. I have no attachment to it, but I would like to honor the fact that they'd like me to come there and do some programs with them, like I'm doing here in Ghana. I wanted to throw more light, like, okay guys, hold on. I want Cicely to throw more light a bit about her meditation. Um, before someone will start to feel like, oh, who, 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 are, who are the people inviting you? Because some people don't know that, I know that, right? So can you speak more, throw more light about your partners, I mean, your religion, your belief. A belief, yeah. yeah. I'm glad you said that. Belief is not a religion. Okay, cool. And so it's a belief. So Raj Yoga Meditation is, um, it, it's run by the, oh, I say, facilitated by the Brahma Kumaris. Okay. And Brahma Kumaris, their headquarters is in the university, spiritual university, is in India. So I've been there five times. Okay. Um, so basically, the Raj Yoga Meditation teaches you how to yoga, actually means union, connection. So it teaches you how to um, have a relationship with the divine. Divine could be God, um, Baba, I like to call God Baba, meaning Father, because a relationship, remember I talked about relationship mm. before? So it teaches you to have a relationship with God. And so when I say spirit guides me, that's part of that spirit that I talk about guides me on where I need to go next or what I need to do next and who I need to interact with next. So that's what Raj Yoga Meditation is for me as a student of Raj Yoga Meditation because we're all students, whether we're a teacher or we're all students. And every day we meditate, four o'clock in the morning, in the evening, 6.30 to 7.30. We have a third world, we have world, world meditation third Sunday of the month World Meditation Hour. And we have classes every single day all over the world, because we're in over 100 something countries. Mm. We, um, we basically, we, um, we have class at 6.30 in the morning. And it's the same class, same message. And then we, as individuals, make it match to us. Whatever it is that our interpretation of it is, we make it work in our lives. And so we live a life of, of, we try to live a life of virtues, peace, love, happiness. I know Lily talks, she feels that peace and love and happiness from me. And so not through the vices of anger, lust, greed and attachment. See, those are false identity. I am not angry. I might be angry, but I'm not angry, if you understand what I'm saying. I am not greedy. I just feel greedy. So it's a difference. I'm not a teacher, I'm just playing the role of a teacher. I'm not a mother, I'm just playing the role of a mother. So it's quite basically like that, and understanding that I am a soul, and that God is the supreme soul, and I am in the image of God, and I am a child of God, and so is Lily, and everybody on this earth. We are brothers and sisters, and we are children of God. I wouldn't say depression, I, I don't, okay. since practicing Raj Yoga, I don't even know what that is. Right? I don't know what depression okay. is. It helps us to maintain that balance with our okay. emotions. So, um, well, I've been a very, as I said, I was a TV host, so I was a very active person. In 2020, we were all locked down in our houses mm. and some, and I said, Cicely, this is not you. It's not you. So you've got to do something about this. So certain places in America you can't go because of this or that. that or, and I'm saying going just from the supermarket home, supermarket home, and not interacting with anyone, it was not good. So coming to Africa has now opened up me to being with people. I'm here freedom. with Lily. Freedom. And I'm doing well, much happier here. I, I'm actually the most happiest that I've ever been in my entire life. I'm enjoying being here. I'm enjoying meeting people. I'm enjoying going to the different countries and saying, new day, new country, new friend. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm enjoying it and I, I'm doing well 
also physically, my health, my well-being. Some things happened while I was here. Um, my eyes started to be blurry. That's another thing. You can't get good health care. I had excellent health care since I've been here. I got glasses. Um, I can see You've got better. the glasses here? I've got my glasses. They saw that one eye was weaker than the other, the strength. And I've got my perfectly fitted glasses. I can see now, no more blurry. And I've never had that before. The glasses, I couldn't wear them because they were not fitting me right. Now I've got great glasses. I went, I was having back pain because previous injuries. I saw the doctor in, in an hour. I saw the doctor. Meaning I had Ghana a, here. Yes, in Ghana. X-ray, CT scan, and I saw the doctor in one hour. And I'm, as you can see, I'm doing fine now. So I don't need to fly back to America to get good health care. I got good health care right here in Ghana, in Thank Africa. You. Thank you. So impression corrected, right? <laughs> so everything they told you was a scam, right? <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for coming on my channel. I really appreciate having you here. Uh -huh. Thank you. Do enjoy your stay in Ghana. Thank you. Uh, we look f forward to seeing you again. Okay. I appreciate Even if you that. go, you oh, come yeah, back. I'm coming back. You yes. come back, right? Don't worry, Ghana. <laughs> I'll be back. They tell you, go soon, come soon. So thank I've been you. here. I said, yeah, I'm coming soon. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, kindly. Okay. Thank you guys for <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video. Do not um hopefully by the time you see this video, Sicily would have been gone back to her country, her other places, her other commitments. But we hope to have her back in Ghana. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.